Inbound to Osahor and one. Long the long strides. That's old school. Aggressive drive going to her left and one. Well, what a run, what a year, and what a pleasure it is to be joined now by the man who led the dogs to their first ever national semifinals back in April alongside Ross Goldon. Woody back with us. It is Huskies head coach Mike Neighbors. And coach, we got to start by talking about that final four. We were going crazy down here in the Bay Area cheering for you guys. What was that time like for you? Well, we appreciate y'all cheering for us. We felt it. Uh, <laughs> we had such a great outpouring and uh, support from everybody in the Pac-12. It was great to obviously share it with Oregon State and then the rest of the league that shared it with us. So, um, you know, we're still reliving it. Uh, there's still moments that don't seem real. I just got made fun of by Sidney Weiss and Gabby Hanson on my reactions <laughs> on the way. It's still happening. So uh, to know that uh, there were that many people cheering uh, with us and for us, uh, it really it made us proud. And a big piece of the puzzle there is the now senior Kelsey Plum. I'm I'm so sad that her time is coming we to an end. We still got a season. Don't rush it away. We have the whole season. I'm going to try and cherish it. <laughs> but you know, I remember her coming in. What has she meant to the program? How dynamic has she been for it? And even women's college basketball. I mean, could she be player of the year? Uh, she get my vote. Yeah, she certainly gets my vote. I, I think. You know, the impact, the, the, a West Coast kid staying on the West Coast, coming to a place that hadn't been to the NCAA tournament in a few years and wasn't in the Final Four talk ever, mm -hmm. uh, to, to make that leap of faith and then to, to attract other people along the way, the other pieces that needed to become a team, uh, you know, it's a legacy uh, that she'll leave, regardless of what records she does or does not break this year. Um, the legacy's got a chance to have a, a pretty cool final chapter. So we talked about Kelsey, obviously. Chantel Osahor back this year as well, but you've got a lot of great new faces coming in. So what, what is the Washington Husky team going to look like here in 2016? There'll be some new faces. You know, let me, you have to look at the name on the back of the jersey a little bit uh, <laughs> to get started. Uh, and we've got more, you know, we've got a full squad. We have to actually stretch out across the entire length of the floor uh, this year. So, but when you have leaders like Chantel and, and Katie returning, uh, even though we lost three great seniors uh, with the newcomers, uh, four California kids and a, a transfer from Nebraska, another California kid. So five California kids coming to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, they have brought something unique individually uh, to practice uh, to our trip to Australia uh, every day in practice. So. Um, it's going to be fun to see how they, they mold. Uh, you know, I think last year you watched us play, we had a, a fun team. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, that doesn't just happen, it takes time. And I think these five kids can, can figure it out pretty quick. It definitely is a fun team to be around. And you know, with each step of the tournament as you continue to progress, the nation starts to learn more and more about you, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe the nation was late to the party for Chantel, but we knew all about her. <laughs> yeah, um, we did. <laughs> and, and people kind of fell in love with all the different ways she could affect the game. Her versatility, her rebound, that unorthodox three-point shot that goes down, maybe she doesn't jump that high yeah. on it. What, what was it like? How did you get to the point of figuring out the best way to utilize her in your system? Well, I, we saw it with her, starting with her AAU team. She made everybody on the floor better from a unique spot on the floor. Uh, so uh, letting her transition and grow into the game collegiately, but she's had that in her. She makes uh, everybody on, on the floor better, and that's what was so unique about her. Uh, you know, you don't have a lot of plays in your coaching playbook uh, to draw up for your five player to be the passer, you know. So we had to be creative, uh, but when you see her do what she does in practice every day, you can tinker with things and um, she is so much more than the shot. You mm -hmm. know, everybody wants to talk about the shot right, and then right, the right. viral, the video's viral and the sports science uh, went viral. So. Um, you know, Kelsey and I walked through the airport just fine. Nobody stopped us one time, and Chantel had to stop and sign about four autographs. <laughs> they asked Kelsey, hey, do you know Chantel? And there she's like, yeah, and she's like, I'm Kelsey Plum, but I do know <laughs> Chantel. So it's great. They, they play off each other uh, very well, and, um, you know, that, that group of kids, along with Katie being a fifth-year senior, couldn't ask for better leaders. Well, Coach, congratulations on the Final Four last year, and we cannot wait, as Roz said, to see what your squad does this season. Thank you.